Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. But what I do know, however, is this is 4F Beauty. And you are very welcome. Now, I thought today I would do a tag. Now, I first saw this on Jen Phelps's channel. And it was um, a tag list or a set of questions from one of her subscribers, ChiDoll93. I really apologise if I've butchered that. And it's the Makeup Application Tag. Tag even. It's been a while, folks. I'm still getting back into the swing of this. So, as I've said for some considerable time, often hear echoed elsewhere on less imaginative channels. But I'm echoed by Sammy the Sloth Straw. You want to know what these questions are and my answers. Grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up and enjoy. Because here it comes. Right. Uh, I will try and remember to link Jen's film below. Um, if I forget, please tell me and I will update the description box. So, question one. Which step takes the longest to apply? Eyeshadow. If I'm doing something complicated like this, well not complicated, but full on, as in numerous shades, blended, different textures then obviously this takes the longest if I'm just doing a really quick makeup look where I'm you know mascara lip gloss concealer and out the door then none of it takes very long at all but nine times out of ten it will be my eyeshadow that takes the longest question two which step can you apply the fastest probably lipstick and mascara but then isn't that true of everybody or setting spray. Maybe setting spray. <laughs> Three. What is your most dreaded application step and why? False lashes. I don't wear them very often so I don't get a lot of practice at putting them on. The reason I don't wear them very often is being blind in one eye it can make it quite difficult when applying the lash to the eye that I see with because if I close that eye to make sure I'm getting the lash as close to my natural lashes as possible I'm basically playing pin the tail on the donkey because I can't see bugger all um, I've kind of worked away where I kind of sort of look down and then look out from under my lashes and stuff but because of that I can only really wear lashes if I'm doing a wing so it hides the fact if there's a gap between my lashes and the actual lash band um, but yeah that's that's the one that I dread doing the most number four which step is your favourite to apply and why eyeshadow because I get to have fun I sit down and unless I've got a specific um, look that I've got planned so you know one of my pick um, collabs where I can only use certain shades or you know like a makeup uh, makeup bingo or something or recreating a certain look Nine times out of ten when I sit down, I don't know which palette I'm going to use, 
which shades I'm going to use from that palette or what my eyeshadow is going to look like. I, I just sit down and I start playing and I reach for whatever colours call to me so half the time I'm as surprised as you are as to what ends up on my face. But I like that because it, it <sighs> makeup is my distraction, it's my it's one thing I can still do with chronic pain. I can't go for a walk like I used to. I can't go exploring like I used to. I can't just grab a bottle of water, my keys and my mobile and, and you know, head off out into the, the local countryside and just look at nature and take photos and stuff. So I'm kind of... Makeup is the one distraction that I can still do on a level playing field with everybody else. Um, and being creative with eyeshadow, creating different looks, being a, having a different face almost every day. It helps with my depression as well. So it's kind of maybe it's therapy, maybe it's maybe it's cognitive behavioural therapy. I don't know. Either way, I enjoy it. Which step are you most good at? Probably the eyeshadow, because I I spend so long just playing with different eyeshadows. Um which step can you use more practice in? Again, false lashes, because I don't do them often enough. And I think I've explained why. In what order do you apply your makeup? Well, after I've done my base, so, you know, moisturiser, SPF, any primers I'm going to use, it's eyeshadow, foundation, concealer, setting powder, bronzer, blush, brows, highlight, eyeliner if I'm wearing it, mascara, lippy and setting spray. don't think I miss anything. Number eight, which step can you skip? Normally foundation but at the moment with um, when I'm in a lot of pain and when it's been ridiculously hot like it has been here um, I, I break out in a fair amount of spots around my, my chin area which has not been helped by the fact that mask wearing uh, for obvious reasons so I can normally skip foundation I really if I'm wearing makeup at the moment I'm tending not to skip the foundation stage but I can skip eyeliner um, there was a point in time that I didn't feel I had my makeup on unless I had a good old wing going but as I've got older and eyelids have got crinklier I save the wings for special occasions because I can end up looking Tad Amy Winehouse Number 9 Which step is an absolute must concealer even if I'm not putting any other makeup on I will put concealer on the dark circles under my eyes because where I've got deep set eyes I always have um, like shadows anyway if, if I days that I don't wear makeup it still looks like I've got a natural tan on my eyes because where my eyes are so deep set they have that depth to them anyway add to that the fact that I'm in chronic pain add to that the fact I'm not sleeping I have black bags under my eyes so big that you know if I sat on the side of the curb the dustbin men would chuck me in the back of the dust cart you know so I tend to cover up my dark circles just because when you're feeling like crap, you don't need people going, Oh God, you look terrible, are you alright? They thanks, I know I look like crap, I don't need you to tell me. Uh, any unique tools you use that nobody else really uses? Well, I don't know if it's unique, but when I'm doing eyeliner, rather than using 
a liner brush from a makeup set. I use Artists liner brushes. Let's take this plastic cover off and perhaps you can see. Because they are so much finer. Um, I mean this isn't the finest one that I've got. I've got finer ones than this. And I just I just find that if I want control, if I'm doing graphic liners where I'm doing you know all kinds of things that I want a really crisp precise line or I want a really crisp wing if I'm using like a gel liner for example rather than um, you know something like one of these then I will use an artist's brush because you get a lot more control over it. I also always keep packet of disposable um, spoolies because I will use coloured um, lipstick, the liquid lipstick, as mascara and as liner if they are eye safe. Uh, so I don't know, I don't know if you'd call that unique because I'm pretty sure other people do it but it's unusual shall we say. Then there are two bonus questions. Which step alters from time to time in the way you apply it? Uh, eyeshadow. Because depending on what look I want that day, it could be a one and done. It could just be a liner. Uh, it could be a cut crease. It could be a halo eye. It could be all nicely blended like this with a shimmer on the lid. It could be editorial where there's more of a distinct line between the colours. Um, it could have a wing, it could not have a wing, it could have graphic liners or not graphic liners. Um, so that's probably the, the thing that, that changes the most. I mean, the application method doesn't change, as in the way that I apply the eyeshadow to my eye. But the finished look can be very different if that makes sense sense. I hope it does. And finally, which step stays relatively the same in the way you apply it? Probably foundation. I mean the only real difference is if I use a brush or a sponge. So, that are my questions or my answers for that particular who do I tag to do this? Uh, Christopher J M U A. Mm. Who else do I feel would do it? Pink Poodle. Uh, I'm trying to tag people I haven't tagged before. Um, Who else? Who else should I tag? Mm. Jonathan. Jonathan Pierre, Milk Shorts. Tag you. I want you three to do it, please, because I'm nosy and I want to know what your answers are. Right, I hope you enjoyed this quick little tag. Well, it's never really quick when I get chuntering away, is it? Uh, but it's quicker than a makeup application film of mine. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did it'd be awesome if you could hit that thumbs up for me. It does help with the algorithm. It really helps with spreading the film out to other people. Because at the moment it would appear that YouTube not only are unsubscribing people from the channel, uh, but they've decided even if you have requested notifications they're not going to send them anymore because it's blocking up people's emails yes if we've asked to be notified we don't mind having emails in our inbox 
we've requested emails in our inbox. But apparently YouTube in their wisdom decided we're not going to send them anymore and everybody who's got theirs set to all notifications it will go down to customised notifications. As I discovered the other day when I'm like why have I not had any emails for a couple of weeks? What's going on? So I went through and I changed it all. I, I took the bell off and put the bell back on again and chose all notifications and I still wasn't getting any so I messaged Twitter, uh, YouTube on Twitter who informed me yeah we don't do that anymore and you were going to tell people when? yeah I'm a creator and haven't been told I'm also a viewer, I certainly haven't been told what the hell? they're constantly changing the goalposts um, so it's very frustrating so please do check back because you'll probably find you've missed quite a few films of mine although I did have a fortnight where I couldn't upload but mm, a couple of films back will tell you why uh, if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome, I'm really glad you stumbled over this film it would be awesome if you too would like to join the 4F family, it's super easy uh, you hit that red subscribe button, turn it from red to grey, you can ring my bell and choose all notifications but as I've just said you probably won't get told about them but then knowing YouTube they'll change their mind again in a fortnight and change it all back without telling us so it's still worth popping the bell on just in case just in case, we all know dust in case don't we? Yeah. if you're not too sure because obviously this is a bit of a blethery chatty one I've got an awful lot of other films that you can go and watch uh, to decide whether or not you want to subscribe to the madness of the 4F Beauty channel. Um, I've got makeup tutorials. I've got a tutorial on this one, for example, uh, which is also a product review of a new palette from a new slash old indie brand. If I remember, I'll link the... Um, tutorial in the description. Again, if I forget, give me a nudge, I'll put it in. Um, but I've got tutorials, I've got makeup reviews, I've got collabs, I've got more tag films, uh, I've got my Zodiac series. I even read you my favourite poem. So there's going to be something that you can find to watch and decide whether or not you want to come and join this madness. I really hope you do. Uh, yeah, basically. If you want some me time, grab a drink, grab a snack, pick a playlist, put your feet up and indulge. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Right, my lovelies, I really hope you've had a lovely day. Uh, if it's not been a good day, I hope tomorrow's is better for you. And now, all that remains for me to say, as ever, is you'll stay fabulous, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.